These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <coughs> All right, so what's up everybody? It's a hatless, bald, grim green here, so just soak it in. But it's not about that because today I actually really am excited to do this review for the Vapors Cloud Pixel Boro AIO. I've been using it the last few weeks just fallen more and more in love with it. But for hand feel sake, we have to get down to the desk. Would you just look at this? Look at this, look at the size of it. Hang on, let me get a ruler. If my calipers had batteries, I'd use them, but boom, look at that. A little, oh, two and a half inches tall. These are freedom units, of course. Pow, that is small. This is just a tiny little thing. You know what works much better is just to have it another prop. Look at this, Vapor SO Cross 3 Nano. It's literally wider in one spot, taller with a pod in there. Man, it is just so dinky. It's got an internal 3000 mAh light IPO battery and it uses a VC cloud Orca chip and then when it focuses on it, it kind of just looks white, but this does a multitude of colors and I found that if I shake it, that's actually a much better representation of the color that it is. Oh yeah, this one's blue and you can kind of see the blue much better, but I just do a one, two, three, that gets me to the menu. I can choose a mode, it's power bypass, nickel, titanium, stainless steel, a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of stuff. I am but a simple wattage vapor. So we're leaving it on power, one, two, three, back into the menu. And then inside all of the settings, I can clear the puff counter, we can do stealth mode, I can change the color. Let's change it back to purple. And that's really all it does. It shows me all the information that I need to know right here, right at a glance. And I really like that. This screen is recessed. Like obviously this screen is recessed and the buttons are recessed. There's no way that these are accidentally going to get pressed by just setting it down on a surface. That was a few people's concern on Instagram and social media. I don't really think that's going to be an issue. This certainly isn't the first device that's ever had a friggin' screen on the bottom. Pow. Palmable. You want to talk about hand feel? Let's talk about how palmable this is. I was using it, as you saw, for about 90 puffs with the Ether V2 in there, and then for some reason, the Ether V2 just decided to leak like crazy. I mean, it was excessive. It looked like I dipped this pixel in e-liquid. It was everywhere, but I just used a little bit of water, a wet paper towel in my hands and I wiped it all off and I cleaned it all off and it dried it all off and there isn't any residue or anything and nothing seems to be damaged. The screen still works, everything still fires. So I'm uh, relieved by that. This seems to be pretty uh, watertight. For the sake of today's video, I'm gonna use the Shift sub-ohm pack-in tank with the 0.4 ohm coil. Comes with a 0.4 and a 0.8. VC always clearly marks their coils. And look, there kind of is a flat round side, flat side on this. I'm just gonna make sure that that airflow is wide open before I slide this in for the inside. And bleh. I kind of really like filling boros on the side like this after doing it so many times with the ether. It's really easy to see. Shh, honestly, nice and clean. It was supposed to be a 0.4 coil, three into 0.45, that's fine. I'm gonna run it about 40 watts. Normal view, that's all down here. Normal view, go. You know, I like the VC Tech coil heads. This 0.4 is nice and crispy, nice and flavorful. I only need about 35 watts to run it at like a pretty good performance level. That's just gonna extend the 3000 mAh battery on the inside. And you know, it was one of those things, first time I saw this, wasn't super stoked on it. The next time I saw it, I was a little bit more stoked on it. And then I finally got one and I was real stoked on it. And then I kept using it and I just kept falling, falling, falling more like, head over heels with this thing. It's just now, I can't promise I'm not gonna cut to like 15 different clips of me just manhandling this, but it is so palmable. I just want to express to you how hideable, how palmable, how nice in the hand this is. All of the edges are all nice and rounded off. It's smooth, anodized aluminum. I am a long time fan of pressing the button with my finger and this has that in spades. It's not necessarily, you know, it's not necessarily anti-thumb, but I gotta hold it a little bit more like a badminton racket. Still just as comfortable, still just as handleable. Amongst literally all of the boros that I have set up, I found myself saying, things like, where's my pixel? I'm looking for my pixel. Casey, have you seen my pixel anywhere? I think I left my pixel outside. I think I left my pixel in the kitchen. This plus the Ether 2 and a restricted lung with a six milligram was just such an enjoyable experience. Still is, I mean, even with this VC Tech coil head in here, is a really enjoyable experience. And you know, 
A long drip tip like that isn't necessary, but like a purple whistle tip, it's such a little just fist pack pocket banger. I'm finding it extraordinarily difficult to not give this 10 full banana stickers for just being such a cool little thing. I know things like this have existed elsewhere in the vape space, and they're usually really very high, kind of high-end things, and what Vapor's Cloud has done is kind of bring that into, like, I could afford this. Can you even see it in my hand? Right now, I'm gonna do my best to avoid any and all rambling, so I can't tell you exactly where to get these, and I certainly can't tell you how much they cost, but I would be surprised to see these for more than $100. If you're watching this video, though, and you still smoke combustible tobacco cigarettes, it's time to switch. Literally all the science says you should, and it's literally never been easier. There is a world of safer nicotine products out on the market. In the description of this video, I'm going to put links to just science and just education. This has been a Grim Green video. Let's stay cigarette smoke free. Literally every single time. Time. Next time I'm wearing a hat. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and I'm uh, gonna smoke, so. It's very badminton thumb and that's, <laughs> and that's.